Hello friends, welcome to Tech Lake video tutorial. In this video, I am going to give you frequently asked questions in PySpark. In most of the interviews, you can expect these common questions. And uh, recently, one of the uh, interviewer in SCL they asked these many questions. And first, we need to understand whenever you are attending a PySpark. Okay, so why? Because if you are completely on programming language background. Okay, you can expect more related to programming language. If you are completely on data warehousing or big data related, you can expect more questions on data warehousing. The same thing is happening at the interview side also. Why? Because in most of the companies, they don't have a proper experience guys combination of all this skill set. So maybe they, start, they have a less experience, maybe two years or three years. But when it comes to interview part, what they will do, one person from programming language, one person from big data or data warehousing background, they will come and they will ask you questions okay and most of the questions you can expect based on your self so whatever you are explaining your introduction so in the introduction your current project your current role and current responsibilities so you can expect a different type of questions based on your introduction then after your introduction then the major questions you can expect in PySpark okay the major related to Python so Python means uh, you can expect the default question is Differences between list, tuple, sets, and dictionary. And PySpark, when it comes to Spark, what are the major differences between RDD and DataFrame? These are the common questions you can expect in any PySpark interviews. Then another one is SQL related. Why? Because it's a combination of programming language, database, and big data combination, right? So you can expect a few questions from Python. You can expect a few questions from Spark, SQL. So that SQL is a common for a data warehousing projects. So here also you can expect uh, uh, identify the duplicates or identify the top five salaries employees. Like that in SQL, you can expect most of the queries. And the same requirement they will ask how you will do in PySpark. Instead of going with the SQL, how we will do in PySpark. So this type of question you can expect. And uh, which one you will prefer, group by or reduce by key? So, which one will give the best performance and which one will give the worst performance so they will ask you the differences between these two group by and reduce by this is a very important one and uh, you should know uh, suffering all this concept then only you can explain properly group by and reduce by then DAG this is a common thing which whenever you are processing data in spark you should understand the background process so in this background process what is DAG and how it works on fault tolerance okay you should understand this then related to database so if you are working on big data projects you should know hive and hive scripts so okay the question is how does hive knows whether you given a script is a hql script or not okay then another question related to again sql uh, find the third highest salary okay and another sql question related to partitioning and bucketing so partitioning and bucketing uh, you should know in in a database side how we will do the partitioning and the bucketing and the advantage of this and how it will work then another join related so bucket map side gen what is this and how it will work you know to explain this uh, the major here if you look at major related to sql only high database related you can see and vectorization also so this is also related to database okay so more related to database why because the depending on the interviewer so if the person came from big data background they, they will ask more questions on uh, big data and sql if the person come came from any programming language background they will spend more time on questions related to programming language and the differences between ORC and pocket file and differences between limit and the top and uh, draw spark sql background execution engine architecture so end-to-end -end execution process like how we will it will uh, go with the plan execution plan and the involvement uh, catalyst optimizer all this stuff so you need to explain and you need to design a draw diagram for this so not only this depending on the person and depending on how you are giving your self introduction so some more some questions most of the questions you will expect based on your self introduction why because so they will identify your role and responsibilities and based on that you will they will uh, ask you question but this is the common questions related to PySpark. so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this video Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you very much.